Usually in Las Vegas, the only snakes you have to keep your eye out for are the ones sitting across from you at the poker table. This past April, when over 800 vipers descended upon the city of lost wages, they not only raised a few eyebrows, but turned a few heads as well. In a city as busy as Las Vegas, it's hard to get noticed doing anything. That's unless you're behind the wheel of America's most powerful sports car. The fifth Viper Owners Invitational dubbed Viva Las Vipers saw Viper owners from all over North America turn the glittering strip into the snake pit. Viper owners have quickly become famous for their enthusiasm and passion for their cars, considering the fact that there are only about 10,500 Vipers in the U.S., over 800 of them in one place at one time is quite a turnout. For those of you thinking this is just another car show, think again. Viper owners are an eclectic group from all works of life and, uh, and everywhere in the country. People have driven their cars here from the East Coast and from as far away as Washington and Canada. Uh, they talk about the car, what it means, and actually the camaraderie they have. And just walking through the uh, lobby, you can see everybody wearing their Viper shirts and saying hello to each other. And it really is sort of a bonding thing. It's probably the biggest type of uh, uh, bonding event in automobile history. With over 400 horsepower and one of the sweetest exhaust notes ever, it's easy to see why Viper owners are so enthusiastic. I had a vet before, and I, the def, this car is just by far, uh, you can't beat the Viper. You just can't beat the Viper. The 2000 Viper Owners Invitational will take place August 24th through the 28th in St. Louis. And that's it for this week's Motor News.